Do you love the look of antique aged mirrors and would like to recreate it yourself? Hi friends, I'm Jamie from SoMuchBetterWithAge.com. I'm dedicated to helping you create a beautiful life with easy to follow DIY projects, home decorating, organization, and a little bit of life advice along the way. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a regular mirror and make it look like an antique, like these. And for someone who has done this a lot, I will be sharing all my tips and tricks with you. In a well-ventilated area, lay down a drop cloth, then plastic sheets, or you can use garbage bags cut open, and place the mirror face down. Wearing gloves, apply a paint stripper with a chip brush all over the back of the mirror to remove the paint. The paint stripper I used in this video did not work, so I wiped it off and used a paint stripper that I normally use, and I've listed it below. Scrape it off carefully with a plastic scraper, not a metal one. Scrape it off right onto the plastic. Move the mirror onto the drop cloth and carefully wrap up the plastic and dispose of it. Next, you want to wipe the mirror off with water and a soft cloth, or you can use paper towel and water to remove all the stripper from the mirror. Then you're going to wipe it dry with a soft cloth. In this video, I cleaned it with Simple Green Cleaner, which I've recommended before in my book and my blog post. I've used it many times and I've never had a problem, but this time, for some reason, it took some of the finish off. I think water and a soft cloth is all you need to clean it. I've even hosed it off in the backyard before. Now you're gonna to wanna to put on a mask and protective gloves. Using a funnel, carefully add muriatic acid to a plastic spray bottle. You can also dab some of the muriatic acid right onto the mirror, but you have to be extremely careful with it. You can easily get a chemical burn with this muriatic acid, so please use it at your own risk. Once it's in the plastic spray bottle, make sure to label the bottle with a sharpie saying muriatic acid and keep it out of reach when not in use. Spray the muriatic acid everywhere where you'd like to remove some of the reflective film. Typically when a mirror ages, the edges are what shows through first, so I like to do most of the spraying of the muriatic acid along the edges. After you've sprayed it, you'll want to quickly dab it off with a damp cloth. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for it to work, so you'll want to spray a little bit at a time, then dab off. Spray and then dab, spray and then dab. I wouldn't put a lot on all at once. If you take off all of the reflective film, all you'll be left with is a plain piece of glass, not a mirror. I have antiqued so many mirrors and I've had so many issues with them in the past, and I have done everything wrong. But sometimes the things that can go wrong actually turn out good. If too much of the reflective film comes off, you can spray on the smear effect. I will leave a link below. It adds the effect of mirror, but a little bit different, so it adds some depth, and it also fills in the spots that were removed. Then I spray some short blast black spray paint around the edges to mimic an antique mirror. After you're done with it and the back is dry, you'll need to paint the back again to protect it. Whatever color you paint the back is what'll show through the parts you just removed. I love using gold or charcoal gray, and my vintage gold with fusion mineral paint is a really pretty light gold. You'll need to paint two coats of the paint on the back, drying at least one hour in between coats. Once dry, put your mirror back together. Here's a side note. If your mirror that you have says made in China on the back, those mirrors typically do not work. There's a different way that they've produced them and you won't be able to get the backing off first. 
If you'd like to know how I created the French gold mirror like the ones from Anthropology, be sure to check out that video to complete your whole mirror. For more inspiration, be sure to check out my other DIY videos and head to my blog, somuchbetterwithage.com for more tutorials. You can also find 70 more projects in my book, French Vintage Decor.